by God, ministering the Word of God for over 17 years, planting and developing over five churches. Apostle Mike Whitsey has been called to convey God's message internationally, teaching people to hear from God and the spirit of love in unity. Receive from God with uncompromised biblical teaching. Discover what they are called to do by incorporating training workshops and equipping them through leadership, development, and counseling. Apostle Mike Whitsey, founder and headmaster of the Tuition Free Christian Academy, is building up a people of purpose. The Restoration Center, sheltering and helping homeless and imprisoned men be restored to their glorified destiny in Christ. Broadcasting through social media, TV and radio to spread life-changing encounters with the Word of God locally and abroad. Currently pastoring in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. At Abundant Life Christian Center Ministries, we gladly present, present the, the teaching, teaching of and prophetic ministry of, of Apostle Mike Whitsey. Praise the Lord, Facebook partners and friends. I'm Pastor Mike Whitsey with Abundant Life Christian Center Ministry, and I'd like to welcome you to our Word Encounter Moment. This is the moment that we're going to have an encounter with the Lord through his word. So get set for a change of story. Get set to have solutions and answers to all of your challenges. Today's topic is the importance of prayer. How many of you know prayer is important? The Bible says in Jeremiah 33 verse 3, call unto me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you know us not. Jesus said in Luke chapter 18, verse 1, that men always ought to pray and not to faint. So you show me a person that's praying, and I'll show you a person that never faints, never quits, never cave in, never turn up or give up in the midst of a test and trial. And then he said in Luke 22, verse 41, that we ought to pray that we enter not into temptation. So prayer is a means that keeps us and prevents us from being overcome by temptation. And we're living in a world that's full of temptations, full of tests, full of trials. But if we'll be a person of prayer, God will prevent us from being overcome by this world that's full of temptation, tests, and trials. Now that we see the importance of prayer, let's look at getting answers to our prayer. Because so much of the time we pray, but we never get an answer. I lack in prayer to like going into the grocery store. I know what I'm there for, and I leave there with it. And that's how we ought to pray. We ought to enter in prayer knowing what we're going there for and knowing how to obtain it. Glory to God. Well, if you're going to get answers to your prayer, you must base your prayer on three things. Number one, you must base your prayer on the word of God. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 5, verse 14 and 15, that this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we pray anything according to his will, he heareth us. So God only hears our prayers when we base our prayer on the word of God. So whatever you need from God in prayer, find scriptures that promise you what you need and then base your prayer requests on these scriptures and the Bible says that God watches over his word to perform it. And no word from God returns to him void. The second way to get answers to your prayers is by allowing the Holy Spirit to show you what to pray for. The Bible says in John chapter 16, verse 13, how be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will lead and guide us into all truth. He'll take that from Jesus and show it to us. And then also we see in Romans chapter 8, verse 26, for we know not what to pray for as we ought. The Spirit himself makes intercession for us. So we see when we base our prayers on what the Holy Spirit reveals to us, what he speaks to us, that's the will of God. And when we pray according to the will of God, he heareth us. So number two, base your prayer requests on what the Holy Spirit 
shows you. And then number three, we ought to base our re prayer request on what God has prophesied in his word. You know, uh, Paul told Timothy in 1 Timothy 1 verse 18 to fight a good warfare with the prophecies that have gone forth over him. So find prophecies that have yet to come to pass or prophecies that have been spoken over you. Take those prophecies before the Lord, remind him of them, and he will fulfill them in your life. Well, I trust that this ministry on prayer and the importance of it has ministered to you. And I pray that you get answers, results, and solutions to your prayers, that your prayer life be fruitful and that of a, a blessed one to such a degree that when you pray, glory to God, the change, the difference shows up in your life. I love you so much. Make sure you share this uh, teaching with a friend. And until next time, it is our prayer that God's richest and best be yours.